that's a lot of packages. What's going on guys, it's Frederick. Welcome to the video. I know I haven't been around. We'll talk about that, what's been going on. I'll update you guys on my life. But we're just gonna do a basic unboxing video today while I talk to you guys about everything that's been going on. Um, so since my last video, immediately afterwards, I worked 10 shifts. And in my job, I work 12 hours, so six to six. I worked both day shifts and night shifts, and just after those 10 days, I absolutely had no energy to film or record any videos. And then immediately after that, I had a trip. I went up to the mainland uh, with a couple friends of mine. We played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, just vibing out, uh, seeing another one of my friends up there. And I didn't record anything up there either. I just wanted to enjoy my time off of work after those uh, grueling 10 days of a uh, consistent workload and uh, yeah, just wanted to live in the moment and didn't really want to record anything. I did bring the camera but uh, I didn't record anything so <laughs> to make up for that we're gonna do this unboxing video and then also I'm gonna update you guys on the future of the channel, what I have planned and what I have in store because I also have a new work schedule, so I'm working around that. And uh, actually later today I have a uh, tattoo appointment, so we might vlog some of that stuff. Um, but anyways, let's get to this unboxing. I don't remember the things that I've ordered. Um, some of these I do remember, but a lot of them came while I was out on vacation. And I, I don't know what's in them. So it's, it's gonna be a surprise for uh, both of us. So let's get started. I didn't realize for like that whole first clip that I had something in my glasses. Hopefully, it's all clean now. But let's get to this unboxing. Ah! So the first one here is from Magic Spoon. If you guys don't know what Magic Spoon is, it's like a protein cereal subscription service. Really good cereal, not gonna lie. Um, compared to what they, you know, are kind of mimicking or, you know, the commercial brand or, you know, mainstream brand that they're you know, going for. These are really good alternatives. Uh, so we have the honey nut flavor here. Pretty good, pretty good. Then we have a peanut butter cereal. Love to see that. We have a fruity one. I'm sure you guys can low-key tell which one this one's supposed to be. And then also we have the cocoa cereal here. Um, I didn't get cinnamon this time around. I usually get the cinnamon one because cinnamon's my favorite flavor of cereal. But I digress. Let's get to the next package. So looking at this one, this one's from Rascal Apparel. I feel like I know what this one is because Rascal had a pair of shorts that I was looking to get into. Yep. So these are just another pair of red shorts can't wait to try these on. You'll probably see it in the next workout compilation. Um, so let's take these out. I'm sure that noise is absolutely disgusting to hear. Nobody likes the noise of, you know, crinkling plastic. So let's take these out. Yep, these go hard. These go hard. Um, if you guys don't know, red is my favorite color to wear at the gym as far as bottoms go. And if you guys are all about that culture, we wear red on Mondays. If you know, you know. So there's a rogue package here, but we're gonna save that for last because I definitely know what that is and that's what I'm most excited for. So we're just gonna grab another package here to the side. First, let's see. This one doesn't have any markings on it to where it's from. So hopefully it's nothing sus or anything that will get me canceled. But let's see, what is this? Okay, sick. So this is some stuff from Nike. Uh, you got a hat here. Um, this hat I've ordered probably the fourth time I've ordered this hat. This is just a hat that I really like to work out in. And I end up ruining all of the other ones I've bought because I sweat in them and everything, but this is a really good hat. I really do like it a lot. Um, 
I only get it in black because the other color is obviously it'll stain with how frequent that I wear them. But yep, we got a hat. And then it looks like there's a lot of pairs of socks in here. You can never have too many socks. If anybody tells you otherwise, they're wrong. All right, so let's get into the next one. Okay, so the next one we have here is also from Nike. I don't recall ordering a lot of things from Nike. So let's see what's in this one. <laughs> so it looks like this one just has another hat and the same things that the first package had. So that's very interesting. Um, because if anything, I only bought this once. So that is a whole duplicate order. We have, you know, a second hat and the same pair of socks. But like I said in the last clip, you can never have too many socks, but I was just not expecting another, like a duplicate order. That's, that's interesting, that's interesting. Okay, so moving on to the next one. Let's see, what do we have here? Do we have any indication where this one's from? This one's from Converse. So, if I were to bet, there's probably Converse in here. Let's see, let's take a look. How have your guys' day been going? Honestly, my day's been going pretty slow. Uh, I've been sleeping a lot, just getting used to all of this new like work schedule stuff, shenanigans. Honestly, I felt like I was able to learn how to plant and, you know, maintain my own pineapple farm in the amount of time that I've had to myself recently. But anyway, so let's take a look at these. Okay, so these are low-cut Converse. Um, Low-key, I feel like the sizing is super weird for these because Converse always look super big uh, on myself and on other people that I've noticed. Converse just have like a really big look to them, but they're they're nice. They're very sturdy, a very good shoe to lift in. Uh, for me personally, I like to bench press in these. And my old pair of Converse, the high top ones, I low key ruined. So good replacement. And I went for the the ankle biters. Uh, if you guys have owned a pair of these, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But hopefully those socks come in clutch and I don't cut my ankles up wearing these. Super excited to wear these. You're probably going to see in the next workout compilation too. Uh, Got to break in, you know, all of the new stuff. So we've got one package left, the road package. That's the one that I'm most excited about. Let's get right into it. Okay, so the last one is from Rogue. Really, really excited for this one. I know exactly what's in here. I won't spoil the surprise for you guys. But I've been wanting these for a very long time. And let's just get them out. So, it's another pair of Nike shoes. Can you guys guess what they are? So, these are Nike Romaleos, they're squat shoes. I've wanted these for such a long time. Uh, I never bought them just because I felt like my squat numbers weren't, you know, up to par and I didn't need such a, you know, technical, try hard kind of shoe uh, to do squats in. So I had the Addy Powers that I've been wearing since I've been into powerlifting. But ever since my first meet and how much I want to improve since my first meet. I felt like it was finally, you know, a good time for me to pull the trigger and get these shoes, um, which are perfect because Mondays, if you guys are familiar with my training split, I know I haven't been uploading recently, but we'll get back on that grind. Um, Mondays are leg days. So you guys are definitely going to see these in the next workout compilation. And just look at how these shoes are amazing. They look great super excited for these. They're gonna look really good with the red shorts. Can't wait to hit squats in these. Low key, my numbers are probably gonna look absolutely atrocious because I haven't lifted or touched a barbell since my competition back in August. It is almost the end of September, so we're slowly gonna get back into it, but I will be more consistent as far as posting and training again now that I'm back home and 
really just waiting on getting a consistent work schedule because it's really hectic. Um, a couple people had just left recently, there's people on leave, a lot of overtime being thrown out here and there. So yeah, keep up with me and I'll keep you guys updated. Um, we will definitely work towards a more consistent schedule, um, posting as often as I used to, and just getting back on that grind overall. Super excited. Also, my face looks different. If you guys haven't noticed, uh, I no longer have facial hair. I don't have a beard. There's a long story behind that, but I think what we're going to do is rock the uh, clean shave look here for a while. I'm sorry if I'm stumbling my words. I haven't recorded a video in such a long time, so talking in this format is a bit awkward for me right now, but I'll ease back into it, no problem. Okay, that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the unboxing. You guys will see all of these things worn and used throughout uh, future videos. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and as always, express to impress, aspire to inspire, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Yeah. Time for the end clip of the video to let me know that you guys stay till the end. If you guys are here, first of all, welcome, hi, hello. I want you to comment down below. Do you have a tattoo? Or if you're planning to get a tattoo, what are you planning to get? Just leave that down in the comment section below for me. Alright, see ya.